Coming up this week on The Archer's Choice. This is The Archer's Choice. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week we are going to go Baron Down Alberta Bear style. Baron Down Alberta style. Alberta style. Alberta with trophy style. book outfitters and Dan Hungle. We found a new place up in Alberta that we love. That we absolutely fell in love with because, well, big bears, lots of color bears. I mean, this is, this might be a favorite hangout for a while. You think so? Yeah, I think so. Well, that, that, that's cool. Hey, lucky logo this week, Hunter Safety Systems. If you see the logo, we're going to let you know at the end of the show what you need to do, and someone's going to get a whole harness system, which have, is awesome. Have you noticed she talks way too fast? I just want to make that point. Well, you know what? Let's just get into footage because... Um, yeah, who's first? I get to hunt first. Ha! It just ain't fair. Me first. This butt over there, if you want to touch okay. your bows or platforms, some animals and things, tight your bows in. Make sure that those whites cool. are going to perform. Oh, we ain't worried about that. <laughs> they always do, don't they? <laughs> All right, get yourself settled, and you can pull the bunks together if you want. Okay. No. No. Way. No. We got in the camp a couple hours ago. Had a phenomenal lunch deep fried turkey deep fried turkey can you believe that here in bear camp so far it's, it's been very incredible now he just asked if you can put it in reverse really quick in case we get into bears what do you think that means that means so i reverse it and spin around so the bears when they attack they take vicky first <laughs> no <laughs> that's one
don't go away because we'll be right back. You just watched Vicky smash a monster. Yeah, we got to see how big it is, but we have to Bear bump it. to commercial first. <laughs> Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now, even though it pains me, let's go see how big Vicky's bear really is. Ouch. our first night here up at Trophy Book Outfitters. We're up two hours away from Fort McMurray, Alberta. We got in the stand about five o'clock. He comes around, he's just like a boar would do. Comes walking in, came in, didn't give me a shot right away. I was trying to look at him. He presented me my shot. My hope back tricks once again, baby. Shot him with my my BMFX arrow tipped with a hell razor. Did you see that? My shot wasn't 12 yards, and he, he's right here. I mean, now I think I just want to make it really easy on Dan up here with Trophy Book, and there's definitely no going having to go find this one. This is why. We love coming to Alberta. I mean, this is why I love black bear hunting. Big ol' no-brainer shows up. Look at him. I mean, I can't even lift his head to show you the size of it. I mean, he's <laughs> beautiful. Like I said, we're about two hours away from Fort McMurray up here in Alberta. And, uh, wow, first night out. <laughs> I went to grab my boots to take my Crocs off, and I went to grab my boots because we have to go take pictures of my bear. And I got something else in the middle of the night. While you were sleeping, I was still hunting. Look it. Oh. Go show the guys. Got breakfast. Is this my trophy for the bear I shot last night? I'm just wondering. Oh. <laughs> Look at, hey Dan, she got it on the crease. Well, actually, you know what, I could sign you up as a junior trapper. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering who wanted it. <laughs> Where did you get that, Vicky? Underneath my bed. You got that under your bed? Under my bed, see, I never stop hunting. Do you want to, <laughs> you want me to show you how to skin that or? Uh, no, you know. We could we put it fur in or. Like in his, my beard's Well, hair. we could do it fur in or fur out. Whichever, you know, like the tail, we could split I the tail. I think it'd be a good rug. It'd be a nice rug. <laughs> yeah. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week is pretty simple. We talked about kinetic energy, we talked about brace height, why we're leading to this point. How many times do you watch on a show or you're watching a video and the guy turns around or the girl and they're going <clears throat> and then they come to full draw and they come down on that animal or they're shooting straight here. The problem is in most wild situations you're not going to get away with that movement. You're shooting a bow that's too heavy. What you want to do is decrease the poundage, understand your kinetic energy, maybe have a bow with a shorter brace height to store more energy. That is your bow hunting world tip of the week. Vicky, that was an incredible bear. And I, I mean, that was a, they, they called him fat boy for a reason. Oh, but he was fat. Oh my gosh. And my his skull. on my, ouch. I know. He went boon. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> you don't want to go anywhere because we have to wait. When we come back, we're going to see if Ralph can actually beat my bear. I'm trying. I'm trying. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now we're gonna see how Ralph can do. And Ralph, I give you credit, you, wow. oh wait, we don't wanna tell anyone yet. They have to watch the footage. Yeah, wait till you see what happens. Did, did I ever wait. tell you I'm looking for a new blonde? We got into the stand, Harry brought us in. And there's a sow and three yearlings. They were up in the tree and now they're, two of them are down, three of them are down. And I think they're coming in. That means we don't have much time to do anything because they're just meandering. Yeah, they're coming. o'clock. 
We had, we had a sow and three cups, so that's four. We had a nice boar, but real, real winter hard skinny guy. And now this black bear. Hellraiser, we are creating some hell with this broadhead this year. That bear crashed right through, oh, there he is. He's right there. I see him. Let's go. Oh yeah. Yeah, look at the scars on him. What a magnificent animal. Trophy book outfitters here in Alberta. Congratulations. Come on, come on. Good job. That Not was a good mine, but it was good. Yeah, but my bear had way more character. Scar face, you could see he fought more. But mine I mean, yours head. probably just lounged around. I mean, I, I, mine was the predator. Yeah, okay, we'll be right back. We've got more footage to show you, so don't go anywhere yet. Mine was bigger, that's all that mattered. No, mine was no. more dominant. He was Marshall the tough now. one. He was the one. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Ooh, you beat me on I that did. one. That I was getting faster. ready to say that. I was quick. Yeah. Well, so far, Ralph and I, we both, we each took a really two good black bear. Two black bears over huge 20 inches. Black bear. I mean, that's, that, huge. that's Yeah, well, mine was over 21. But now, you got to wait and see what happens because now we each still got one tag. Yeah. We got to see how we fill it out. Because so. Alberta, you could take two bears. Okay, so. Sh we'll see who's bigger now. Yeah, okay. Sh you had to say 21. Yeah. Probably the biggest mistake that a hunter makes is not being patient. When that bear comes in, you have to be patient. Generally, the bear comes in alert, and after he gets to the bait, he'll settle down and relax a bit. You then should be patient and wait for the shot. Try to, try to wait for the bear to be at the proper angle, which we recommend is a, is a broadside, double lung type shot. We encourage you to be patient and wait for that shot to happen. If the bear picks up something and walks away, generally they'll come back time after time and will give you the shot eventually. So we really encourage you to be patient and make a well-placed shot. It's important to watch the bear's actions and how he reacts to noises and sounds around him. 
You don't need to be looking around to see if other bears are coming or if a bigger bear is coming. Just watch the bear at the bait. The bear will tell you whether there's another bear coming. Watch his ears. He'll turn his head and he'll tip his ears forward. He's listening and generally listening for other bears. If a big bear is coming, often they will run away if it's a smaller bear. for a quality trophy you want to harvest a good boar they make the better trophies sows generally have smaller heads pointy ears slimmer bodies maybe uh, thinner around the legs boars have large round heads ears are often tipped to the sides they have uh, wide noses pug faces almost they they walk very bow-legged they have large sagging bellies and, and a very wide body frame the boars do make the best trophies. We sure hope you enjoyed this week's show on Barren Down Up in Alberta, part one. Part one, that's right. Next week is part two. And part we, two. We, we did great this week. We saw it. We, you know, a lot we, of people we, are going to be asking why I let that bear walk. Yeah, they are. Well, why did you let that big bear walk? He was big. He was big. He was he black. He bigger than mine. And you notice his face, how all gray, how his old. hair was gray and everything yeah, else? Yeah, it was almost it, like this. Look at that. It's kind of gray. The thing is, it had more hair than you did. He probably has a miserable sow at home that just drives him to turn gray. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. If you saw the Hunter Safety Systems logo, you're going to want to log on to archerschoice.com, check on the Lockie logo button, and fill out the information, and someone's going to win on complete Hunter Safety Systems. Really cool. Very cool. Okay. So we want to thank you. Yes. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here. On, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. You did it. I did it. I'm so proud. It's because you make me nervous, woman.